Mr. Barrymore? Frank? Let me know when you want to start running your lines. <laughs> I'll be all set up and ready to go. Well, Mr. Efficiency has finally turned up. Hello, Frank! Hello, sir! How have you been? Fine, sir! Keeping busy? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's our Frank. <laughs> Traffic bad? Took the train, sir. Uh, <clears throat> you still living in Yonkers? Yes. With your mother? Yes. And how is she? So-so. What? So-so. Oh, well, that's, that's life. <laughs> Dear old Frank, I have but to discreetly cradle my auditory orifice, lean artfully in his direction, murmur line, and the forgotten words waft their way toward my eagerly awaiting ear, unbeknownst to the enchanted audience. Any time, Mr. Barrymore. I also have very poor and unhappy brains for drinking. I could well wish courtesy would invent some other custom of entertainment. Uh, wait a minute, sir. Mm? That's not from Richard. Oh, uh, how perceptive of you, Frank. And what is it from, then? Othello. Right as usual, Frank. Pedantic prick. Save me from him. A horse, a horse. My kingdom for a horse. Mr. Barrymore, aren't we taking it from the beginning? Yeah, presumably. Yeah. Well, that's the end of the play. Ah, uh, <laughs> tedious boy. All right, Frank. Let us proceed with the libretto. <clears throat> Richard III, Act One, Scene One. You will forgive me for a moment. I, I need to steel myself a little here. <clears throat> ah, <clears throat> right. Start me off. Now? Now's as good a time as any. No, now is the first word. Oh. Now is the. Now is the. What? Now is the what? Now is the winter of? Well, now is the winter of what? Our discontent. Now is the winter of our discontent. That's what I said. Don't you listen, schmuck? I listen. Uh, Frank, don't prompt me unless I ask. I mean, if I ever need one. I will just say line. Line. Made glorious summer. Line. By this son of yours. Line. And all the clouds. And all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean. Buried. God, that was a killer. Let's take a break.